Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Erwin, with another anime first impressions. This is going to be on a anime that's airing on Crunchyroll. The name is Sara San Mai, Mai, I believe is how you pronounce it. I probably am butchering the name. I apologize for that. But anyways, it is a anime that aired maybe two days ago now. And uh, I decided to watch it. Strange one, I would say. It did have its good moments, but before I continue my first impressions, I want to say a few things. One, if you have not done so, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell button if you guys don't mind. And uh, also, secondly, guys, there's a giveaway happening. You have only about one or two days left to be part of that giveaway. So if you want to be in the giveaway, go check that out as soon as possible because on the 15th of this month, I will close it and announce the winner. Or actually, now we have winners because we have more than 15 part of it. So anyways... Um, Third of all, there's a spoiler spoiler alert like always, uh, as I always put in my first impressions, just because I don't want you guys to uh, have it spoiled. And this one does have some spoils uh, that you guys might not want to watch past this point. So, anyways, this anime genre-wise, uh, magic, uh, comedy, and mystery in some way... Uh, it, it was very confusing. Um, I did watch some parts <laughs> twice because I was kind of confused what's going on. And uh, they haven't really explained everything yet. But essentially, there's a boy who carries his box. He always carries his box. And it almost feels like the box was more... Um, you know, it, it was a real box. But it was also kind of alluring that... Uh, that the box was metaphorical and not really true, at least at the end of the episode. Uh, but anyways, he encounters this bully, the, he, he takes a picture, uh, the bully chases him, and they uh, break the statue, uh, which is holds the spirit, and they essentially have a weird day, and they go into this realm at one point in the episode, with another kid who is best friends with the kid that had the box. And uh, essentially they fight this spirit being that is taking over all the boxes. And apparently everyone has a box. And they really want their boxes because is essentially their secrets. What they're hiding from people. And uh, they defeat the box spirit demon type of thing. And by defeating it... The boxes fly away, and everyone catches their box, except for the protagonist. His box uh, opens up. Now, <laughs> a few things before I continue. Um, they transform into these frog-like. And I, I don't want to say frog-like, because there's a whole joke, like, I'm not a frog, and they kind of tease on that. They're not frogs, but frog-like type of creature. Uh, it really looks like a Pokemon. I forgot what Pokemon it is, but anyways... Uh, and uh, they essentially, uh, in that realm, they're transformed to that and they have these special powers to defeat these beings. At one point, I thought, hey, it could be a kid's show. Not really. Um, when the box opened up, his secret opened up and his big secret is that the boy is actually a cross-dresser. And when he took a picture, he was actually a girl or dressed like a girl. The bully chased him. And he actually found the guy undressed already. And, um, yeah, so anyways, that, that was the connection there. I guess eventually we'll find the secrets of the other guys on the next episodes. Uh, so there's a more deeper meaning and more deeper understanding, I guess, of the characters in this anime. Uh, did I like it? Not so much. Um, it wasn't really the secrets and it wasn't really the characters... I don't know, it was just too busy of a first episode. I had too many questions. I didn't understand half of the stuff they were talking about. And I just didn't really enjoy it. It didn't really hook me. And because I wasn't hooked, I was just kind of... I don't know, I just didn't like it. Um, I don't know, I, I could be wrong. But it almost seems like it was just too busy and all over the place. I, I mean, I, I might have watched it at the wrong time of the day. But... It, it, it was before my daily nap. I don't take daily naps, but before I took a nap. So I was, I guess, tired, but uh, I don't know. I just didn't really enjoy it. 
I, I think it was too busy all over the place, and uh, I, I didn't keep up with the storyline. In fact, I at one point restarted the entire episode because I wanted to really understand what was going on, and I, it, it wasn't really good. Uh, at least a, a storytelling, it wasn't really good. So out of 10, I'm going to give this one a 4. I think it probably will get better, and some things will probably be explained at a better pace eventually. Uh, am I going to finish this one? I don't think so. This is going to be one that I probably will drop uh, pretty soon. So um, I would recommend it to those who like that kind of stuff. There was kind of a few fart jokes that I didn't like. Uh, the comedy itself was not that funny to me as well. So um, I don't know. It just didn't seem like my cup of tea. And uh, it could be your cup of tea. So check it out. It is on Crunchyroll right now. So make sure you go check that out. If you guys have not done so, subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this anime. Uh, you might have liked it and I might have just insulted your opinion, but uh, we're all entitled to one, right? So, thank you guys so much for your love and support, and like always, don't be strangers.